Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to another exciting video. So I actually started this video yesterday, but can you guys guess? That's right, the GoPro messed up again. Or it might have been my fault. I mean, I'd say I'm about 49% at fault. But yeah, I started this video yesterday with the intro and everything. I fished a little bit. And then I go to delete some clips that I didn't need anymore. And where the GoPro shows you the clip, like the thumbnail of the video, it showed all the same thumbnails. So I wasn't even sure what I was deleting. So I just deleted what I thought was the right clips. And turns out it was like the first 30 minutes of the video. So I camped last night, but I did go fishing caught a nice tiger trout and I do have that clip which I'll throw in but yeah I've just come to accept that I'm never going to stop having GoPro issues whether it's my fault or the GoPros I'm just doomed to have it keep happening yeah like I said we did catch a fish last night so I will go ahead and throw those clips in right now Got him, got him, right there. Got him, got him. Yes, yes. Oh, hold on. Got him, got him, got him. No, oh, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. And in the net, got him. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, dude. That's a chunk. That is a chunk of a tiger. Thank goodness I caught one. I was just about to head out of here. I've got to hike back and it's getting dark, but I just dipped my ice cream cone chronomid right there next to this fallen tree. Two came out for it. And this guy just was, man, he just came straight over and crushed it. Like usually they hesitate a little bit. This guy was hungry. Finally, we got one. I was thinking we were gonna get skunked today. Look at that tiger. <laughs> that is what I'm here for. Go ahead and get him unhooked here. That fly just pops right out, hooked right in the roof of the mouth. All right, there we go, first fish of the day. I thought we were gonna get skunked, but this guy decided he was hungry, thank goodness. Beautiful fish. Hopefully tomorrow we get some bigger ones, but I'm glad we caught this guy tonight. That's what fall's all about right there. Big old tiger trout. <laughs> we'll get this guy back. He drops off really quick right here, there he goes. There he goes the next day. First order of business is to cook up some bacon and sausage. There we go. Mm -mm. Throw a little butter in there. Then we got some maple sausage, which is the best kind. So we'll cook this sausage down and then we'll add some eggs to it. While that's cooking, I got some packages I want to unbox. Uh, I've had these for a minute, so I figure we might as well unbox them right now. First one, we got this little pink package from OB Jigs from Tempe, Arizona. He told me he was going to send me something. Check that out. All right, so he sent me some jigs, obviously. Got a little box here. I guess he's got a website, Custom Handmade Multi-Species Jigs, Plastics, and Spinners. So if any of you guys want to check that out, objigs.com. Yeah, look at that. He sent us some tubes, some spinners and some marabou's. That is so cool. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use these today, but we will in the future for sure. I've got some ideas. Oh, and then he sent us a whole bag of some tubes. Heck yeah, dude. This probably isn't gonna work for today's video specifically because these fish are just really tricky to catch. They only want certain things, but I mean, we're definitely gonna use these. I've got some ideas. If any of you guys wanna check out his Instagram, it's getting jiggy with Obi. So the sausage is basically cooked all the way. Now I'm gonna take some eggs and then scramble those up in with the sausage next up we got a little box from Braxton Chandler from Arizona again I'm gonna guess there's some flies in here because it's super lightweight oh baby look at that got a little baggie filled with some leeches maybe just a bunch of flies let's see what he said he sent us a note too Ooh, oh Arkansas I thought it was Arizona, he's from Arkansas. He's 10 years old and he tied these flies by himself and he's 10. That's awesome. Wow, thank you so much Braxton. Can't wait to try these, thank you so much. All right, last but not least, we got this little envelope and I can 
guess that there's probably some spinners in here and this comes all the way from new york crazy and this is from oh shoot i just ripped off the name top strike fishing okay top strike fishing the best spinners around hmm. all right so they sent us a couple pretty large spinners right there it's got an extra strong wire that won't get bent after a big catch or a bad snag um yeah the wire on the spinner i don't know if you guys can tell it's it's definitely a lot thicker more sturdy i guess and it's got like a double blade at the top this would be good for like smallmouth or something i'm already thinking of places to use these it's got the main blade the willow blade right there and then up top it's got that little spinny guy we're gonna have to give these a try see what we think yeah that is awesome thank you to everybody who sent me something oh one more thing huge shout out to carl i met him at a gas station the other day and he gave me we just got talking for like an hour and he gave me a bunch of flies he just whips out his fly box here you go starts handing me flies we got some balanced leeches and this little guy a parody gone yeah he gave me all these flies so huge shout out to you carl you guys are sending me so many flies i, I don't even need to buy them anymore <laughs> all right there we go kind of i didn't burn the eggs but they got a little dark i guess i'm gonna go ahead and season these guys up with some hikes bikes and things signature all-purpose seasoning sent in by a viewer starting the day off right i love maple sausage so much we're gonna be fishing the same lake that you guys saw in that clip where I caught that tiger trout. Um, there's some big fish in there. We're gonna fish there, but there's also a few other lakes that we might be able to try, depending on even if we can get there or not, because it's kind of a hard hike. There's just so much brush and it might be kind of tricky to get there, but we'll see how the fishing is. Our goal today, catch like a three or four pound tiger trout. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna get hiking because we got quite a bit of a hike, but hopefully it'll be worth it. All right, folks, we made it, finally. And I've already seen some tiger trout swimming around down there. In fact, there's one just right behind this little tree. All right, we're gonna just start right here where I saw that fish. And I'm starting off with an ice cream cone chronomid because yesterday that was like one of the only things that was really getting any interest at all. And that's what I caught my one fish on, so. But real quick, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've got a new Orvis hip pack we finally graduated from the backpack to an actual fly pack i feel like i'm actually becoming a real fly angler now so if any of you guys want to check it out i'll leave it linked in the description so far i used it yesterday and i really like it i've got all my stuff just right here camera batteries flies yeah if you want to check it out i'll leave it linked in the description oh god There's one. There's one. Oh, he spooked. How did he spook? Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, he's going over to it. Got him. Oh, no. No. Missed my first one. How did I not get, hey, dude, he had it in his mouth. He had it all the way in his mouth. I don't know how I didn't hook him because he definitely had it all the way in his mouth. I mean, he's right here at my feet. I watched it disappear. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> there we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh, get over here. Yes, dude, first one of the day. It's not a giant, but it's a start. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, look at that. So I missed one. I don't know if this was the same fish, but I missed one right here. And then like a minute later, this guy comes out of nowhere. I don't think this is the same one. This one's way prettier. Look at that. <laughs> Heck yeah. 
That didn't take too long at all. 15 minutes and we've already had one bite and we got one. This isn't a giant. Like this is honestly on the smaller side of the fish in here, but this is still a good start. And it's just so beautiful. Look at those colors. Awesome, awesome. On that ice cream cone. All right, we'll just get that hook out. Just falls right out. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. See you later, buddy. Yes, that feels so good. Already caught a fish. We've been here 15 minutes. I think that's the quickest I've ever caught a fish here. All right, let's get back down there. Oh, there's one. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He nipped at it. He nipped at it. Let's see if he'll go for it again. Oh, he turned on it. Oh, he denied it. Oh, there's another one looking at it. Got him, got him, that's a nice one, that's a nice one. This guy came out of nowhere. Oh, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. Nope, 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 you can't go over there, can't go over there. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there, he could break us off on so many things down there. We kinda gotta just force him up. That's a good fish, that's a stud. No, he popped off, no! <laughs> he literally just threw me on my butt, dang it. That hurts, but it's also a very good sign that like that was like two minutes after that last one. All right, well, my microphone for this next clip got unplugged and I didn't realize it until after I caught this fish, but I caught another fish, as you can see right there, crystal clear water, and there was like three or four other fish down there, but this is the one that ended up eating it. But this fish, it actually looked like it was blind in one eye. I'm not really sure. And it was definitely caught before because its mouth was a little torn up. But regardless, beautiful fish, second one of the day. But yeah, thankfully I realized that my microphone was unplugged like right after I released this fish. So thankfully I didn't go for the next like five hours with it unplugged or else that would have really sucked. Figured out the problem and then the audio returned to normal. Oop. Got him, got him, got him. Yes. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Oh, oh. Make sure it doesn't go around those sticks. I've got 5X tippet on, so, I mean, it's really light. I could easily get broken off. Come here. There was another one down there with him. Oh, 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 he's rubbing on that tree. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, there we go. Bring him over here. <sighs> Heck yeah, dude. Number three of the day. And get him in the net, get him in the net. Oh, that's a hog, that's a hog. Got him. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. That's a big one and a beautiful one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that fish, you guys. You guys see that? Hold on, let me get down there where I can see him better. There's literally like nowhere good to stand. And there we go. Look at that fish. This is the biggest one, one of the biggest ones I've seen today. And its colors are just unreal. I mean, it's almost red. Look at that stomach, it's red. That's what fall is all about right here. Big old tiger trout. <laughs> Heck yeah, definitely a good sized fish. All right, we'll let him go. He's ready, he's ready. Oh, turn around, turn around. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, there he goes. See you later. Three fish and we've been fishing for about an hour and a half. Not bad, not bad at all. Got him, got him. Good one, good one, good one, good one. He came over and, whoo, he was aggressive, dude. These fish are hungry this morning. This is a good fish. These have all been good fish, but this is another pig. He cannot go in these trees. This is like break off city right here. Come here. Come here. Get over here, fella. I don't know where I'm gonna land this fish. And, and, oh, oh, no, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, stuck on a tree. Oh, come on. <laughs> my net's literally stuck on a tree. Come on, oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh. There we go, there we go, dude. 
That is a big fish. Big old tiger trout. Look at this fish. There we go. What is that, number four of the day? Ooh. There we go. Number four. Heck yeah, dude, this is so much fun. This is some fast action this morning. Two hours and we've caught four fish. That's pretty good for here, at least for me. Nice, nice. Well, we sort of just missed the release on that guy. I lifted him out of my net to take a picture and he just kind of jumped and I didn't want to drop him on the log, so I just let him go. That was cool, four fish. I'm feeling good, that was awesome. Let's get another one. Got him, got him, got him. Yes, yes, he denied it the first time and then I just kept kind of lifted it up and he chased it up and he ate it. Nice, there's another, there's a bigger one right there following behind him. Maybe we can get him later. Oh, this is a good fish. They're all good fish, what am I talking about? Nice, heck yeah. Sweet, look at that. You talk about a beautiful fish. Just look at that. Are you kidding me? Tiger trout number five of the day. And we're just getting started. <sighs> cool, cool. Let him go. There he goes, back down to the depths. See you later, buddy. Got him, right there, right there. Heck yeah. That was the smaller one out of the two that were swimming right there. I'll take it though. Get out of the moss, get out of the moss. Oh, he just popped off, no. Oh my goodness. Shoot, that was the first one in like 45 minutes. <sighs> Darn it. At least I have the satisfaction of knowing that I hooked him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Oh, stay out of there. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, he just popped off. Dang it. Dude. They get me hung up around these trees and then pop off. What the heck? <sighs> My goodness. So there's two in a row that we should have had that just popped off. They didn't even break us off, surprisingly. Got him, right there, right there. That's a pig, that's a pig, that's a pig. Nope, stay out of there, stay out of there, stay out of there. Stay out of there. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. I watched him eat it right at my feet. Oh, 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 oh. get out of there. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there, come on. Got him, got him, yes. Oh my goodness, this was the biggest one down there. Look at that stud. That was the biggest fish. There was four, right? They were hiding underneath this tree. I missed one of them like twice. And then this guy just comes up and he got it. This was the biggest one down there. Finally, haven't landed one in like an hour and a half. We've had two get off, but uh, other than that, it's been kind of slow. Oh, oh. Oh, gee whiz. All right, settle down. I'll get you unhooked. Golly, there we go. Look at that fish. Beauty. This is probably about two and a half pounds, three pounds, probably 21, 22 inches maybe. That is a good fish. I don't even know what number that is. I think it's like number six or so. That is the biggest one for sure. Holy cow. <laughs> Ate it right at my feet. I don't know how I didn't break him off because he went straight for the trees. Wow. All righty, let's get her back. Oh yeah, there she goes. Yes, dude.
Got him. Got him. That's a giant. I didn't even see that guy. I just... He, got him. He just came out of nowhere. Oh, get out of there. Nope. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. Nope. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. Keep his head up. Nice. Yeah, I didn't even see him. Like, I was looking at one over there, and then this guy, he just pokes his head out. And I saw him, like, opening and closing his mouth, and I just set the hook. I wasn't even sure if he had it or not. Come here. Oh, this is one of the bigger ones. This is one of the bigger ones. Got him. There we go. <laughs> nice. Whew. Another one. Look at this fish. Pinned him right there in the tip of the nose. We can just twist it out. There it goes. Look at that. Holy cow. This might be the biggest one of the day. The last two we've caught have been absolute giants. How awesome is that? This is, this, I can't remember. This might be my biggest tiger of the season. Oh, one just hit right there. This might be my biggest tiger of the season. I don't know. One of them for sure. This is so much fun. I cannot believe it. This is the best day I've ever had here. Let's get him back. All right. Oh, this guy is ready to go. I've kept him in the water the whole time. Look at that beast. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know how big that is, but that's definitely the biggest one of the day. One of the bigger ones I've seen down there, to be honest. There he goes. Oh my gosh. That was fun. Got him. Got him. Nice. Another one. Another one. This one's not as big. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. He's pretty though. He's pretty. This is a pretty fish. They are loving this chronomid, dude. Oh, goodness. I don't know how we're going to get down there to land him. We're kind of trapped. Might be able to reach him if we bring him over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh wow, this is a beautiful fish. This is one of the prettiest ones. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Let's bring him over here where you guys can see him a little bit better. Pin him right there in the nose with the chronomid. Let's we'll twist it out. Wow. Beauty, beauty. Look, his stomach is black. That's interesting. That is so cool. All right, we'll get this guy back. I love these fish. This is what fall time is all about. Right there. Okay, let him go. There he goes. One's gonna come check it out. Oh, oh, oh. oh denial. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, and my fly, oh, there we go. My fly line, my fly line was wrapped around that branch right there, but we got it. Nice, dude, I've been working this fish for like 20 minutes. There's a few down there. There's three around him, and I've been working this one for a while. Finally outsmarted him. Come over here, try not to fall. Heck yeah, not a bad one. Not a bad one. There were much bigger ones down there, but I'll take it. Just about the same size as that last one we caught. Look at that. He's got like a little hump on his head. That's interesting. Pretty fish. They always swim back into the net. There he goes. All right, all right. Yeah, it took quite a while to convince that fish to go for it. Because the bigger ones down there, they just weren't having it. So I focused on the smaller one. Got him, little guy. Oh, he just popped off. And okay, well, we might have just lost our fly. Set the hook right into that branch up there. Oh, we got it. Thank goodness. Oh, oh, can you guys see that one? Oh, yep, watched him come up and jump. That's cool. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. That's a good one, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Whew. Oh, bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Bring him up, 
Nice. Oh, get out. Get out from under that log. Okay. Dude, that's a stud. That's a stud. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, in the net. Yes. Whoo, I'm kind of surprised we landed that fish too because I casted. Oh, my line was hanging over a branch and I just waited for him to eat it, set the hook, and hopefully, and luckily he swam out the other way. Look at that guy. This one has some of the darker colors we've seen today. There we go. Look at that fish. That's one of the bigger ones. Oh, well, there he goes. Didn't even get a good look at him, but at least he fell in the water. He just shot straight off. He's like, I'm free. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Keep him out of there. We cannot let him go down to those logs. Nope. Got him. We're gonna have tons of moss. <laughs> it's either that or get broken off. I'll take the moss. Ooh, this is a pretty one. He was really aggressive about it. Got him. That is so cool. I don't even know what number this is. We're, we're over 10, I, I believe. That is awesome. I mean, just look at those patterns. Look how dark those colors are. It's such a cool looking fish. All right. Got some pictures of them. Now we'll let them go. There he goes. Man, all right, let's do a little time check. We've been fishing for quite a while. It is currently 2.30, 2.29, and we started fishing at eight. So we've been fishing for six and a half hours. We've caught like a dozen fish, missed a few others that we should have landed, and I'm starting to get really hungry. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a catch and cook, but I'm gonna see if I can get a smaller fish. I'm, I'm gonna try to target some smaller fish and hopefully we can get one that we can cook up. If not, we'll have to figure something else out. Got him, got him, clear over there, clear over there. Oh, oh, get up here, oh, 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 oh. Got him, dude, oh, I roll casted clear down there and I just saw him and his white mouth open and close and I just set the hook and prayed for the best. We got him. I was actually going for one of the smaller ones over there so we could cook one up, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain about catching another toad. got him we got him about five pounds of moss like always it's a nice fish not bad not bad this is like fishing for bass in the weeds only it's tiger trout there was a few smaller ones perfect pan fryers but no I just can't catch a small fish they've all got to be huge I guess that's a good problem to have this is probably the uh, not the ugliest but the least colored up fish we've caught today not to say it isn't beautiful, but the other ones have been way darker, way prettier. It's a good looking fish. We'll send her back. Quick catch and release. Thanks for biting, that was fun. All right. Hooked up, hooked up. <laughs> this guy came over and ate it. I wasn't even recording. He just came out of nowhere as fast as he could and crushed it. I'm going for one of the smaller ones down there, but again, we're just catching the big ones. Wow, this guy's strong. He's got some shoulders. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Thought he's gonna break me off there. Wow, this is one of the harder fighting fish we've caught today. And he's not even the biggest one. Get out of that tree. He keeps wanting to go over there. In the net. Nice. Whew. Well, that was a fight, one of the stronger ones. I, I, I saw some smaller fish down there and I'm trying to get one that we can cook up. So I threw it down there, let it sink. And then this guy just comes out of nowhere and just nails it. All right, here we go. Another nice fish. Hardest fighting one of the day. Beautiful, beautiful. This, I think this is like 13 or 14 or so, I don't know. That is so cool. 
Heck yeah. I love these fish. This guy is ready. See you later. Whew, just shoots off. Whew. All right guys, so we were not able to get a cooking size fish at that last lake. So I've come to this little lake right here and I'm gonna see if we can get something that we can cook for lunch. There's brook trout in here and tiger trout. Oh, there's one, there's one. There's one right next to the log. Let's see if he wants it. Oh, he's coming over, he's coming over. Is he gonna do it? He's looking at it. Oh, he turned on it. Dude, he was about to open his mouth. He was about to eat it. Oh, oh, eat it. Oh, there's a little guy. Oh, man. Hey, two little guys come up to it right there. Got him. Got him. I think that's a little brookie. Yep. Little... Wait, what is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? No way. That's a cutthroat. What the heck is a cutthroat doing in here? Huh, I did not know these were in here. Ooh, looks like he's got some disease. Can you guys see that white stuff on his head? That is never good. Well, we're gonna let this guy go. He's too small to keep anyway. That's cool, I did not know there were cutthroat in here. I thought it was just brook trout and tiger trout. Got him. Oh no. Shoot. That was just a little tiger trout. I don't know if we could have kept him anyway. Oh, here comes one. Little guy. Brook trout. Brook trout, third species of the day. How about that? <laughs> Too small to keep. First we couldn't catch one that was small enough. Now we can't catch one that's big enough. It's a pretty fish though. So I got that guy on a ice cream cone chronomid too, except for it's a little bit smaller and it's got gray threads instead of red threads. There we go, pretty little brook trout. See you later. Yeah, the chronomids that I've been getting them on all day, the ones with the big white head and the red body, I think I had like seven or eight of those. I've lost every single one over the course of the past two days. Every single one I have broken off in a tree or in a fish or they're gone, so now I'm just kind of using the rest of what I have. There we go. Fish on. Finally, after like an hour and a half of fishing this spot, we finally got a fish that we can keep. And I actually got him on a balanced leech. Because as you know, I literally broke off on all my ice cream cone chronomids. We're just gonna have to flip him here. Hope he doesn't break us off. There we go. Oh, oh, bring him over here, bring him over here. Nice. So there we go. We finally have a fish that we're gonna cook up for dinner. It's taken a while, but we did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and gut this guy, skin him, and then we're gonna head back to camp and cook him up. So I'm just cleaning this fish here and look how red that meat is. This is gonna taste like salmon. Look at that. He's still moving around. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> He's just sitting here flopping. He has no head, no guts. I'm gonna take my thumb and run it right along the back of the fish. Right down that little crease there. Look at that. He's moving around. I'm hitting nerves. And then I can go ahead and pull that back fin out. And if you do it right, you should be able to take out some of the pin bones. <laughs> Look at this. He's flopping around. Yeah, there we go. Just like, oh, almost. Just like that. We even got some of those bones out. Fresh tiger trout caught right off that log down there literally about seven or eight minutes ago. And he's all ready to cook. All right guys, we have made it back and we are about to cook our tiger trout right there. 
I uh, found this little tree stump that we're going to be using as a cooking platform. Light up our stove. Ooh. It is a little bit breezy still, so hopefully that doesn't mess with my flame. Right. So yeah, we're doing trout and hash browns because it is delicious. Take some of these, pour them in. That'll be good. And I've just got a spoon because my fork was dirty. So we're rolling with it. Now we will take our trout. Beautiful tiger trout. Just barely fits in the pan. Look at that. Barely. And then we will cover it up. And we'll get that heat going. All right, so I turned the heat up a little bit because the wind was kind of blowing my flame out. Let's go ahead and check on it. Oh yeah, it's cooking. It's cooking. I think I'm actually gonna throw some butter in there. Just take some butter. There we go. Perfect. So give that a few more minutes, probably four or five minutes, and it'll be all done. Look at that. The fish is curling up on me. Got to flatten them out. There we go. Fish has just been curling up on me this whole time. But it looks like it's cooked. Yeah, the meat's falling off the bone. There we go. Oh, I'm missing a lot of bones. This meat almost have, is like tougher. It's cooked, but it's not coming off the bone as easy. And I could have left it on a little bit longer, but it's all right. There we go. Make sure to get all of it. I don't want to waste any of this fish. I'm hungry. We're going to throw a little bit more butter right there in the middle. And just let, let that melt. And here we go. I definitely did miss some bones. I got most of the pin bones when I skinned that fish, but there's still a few left. Look like there, that piece looks good. Yeah, for the most part, we're looking good. This is some of the pinkest trout I've ever had. Usually when you cook them, they kind of lose their color, but this one's bright pink or orange, whatever. Go ahead and sear that fish on that side and it should be done. Oh, and for seasoning today, we have some hikes, bikes, and things, all-purpose seasoning. This is what we used on our sausage and eggs this morning. Turn that heat down a little bit. All right, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm going to start eating. I'm going to just leave the heat on so it stays warm. But I'm just going to dig in here. Look at that. Beautiful pink tiger trout caught from the lake about an hour ago. And there we go. It's the first thing I've had all day, other than breakfast. That's good stuff. Oh yeah, well worth it. Great way to end an amazing fishing day. Mm. This fish, it tastes really good, but it's got like a soft texture to it. I can't explain it. I haven't really tasted that before. It's, it's not mushy or anything, but it's really soft. It like melts in your mouth. That's a good way to put it. Very different from uh, trout I usually have. It, it, it's good though. It's not a bad thing at all. It tastes like salmon, to be honest. I mean, it looks like salmon. Oh, there's a bone I missed. I mean, yeah, just look at that. You could you could probably serve that at a restaurant, say that it's salmon. People probably wouldn't think twice about it, but it's just a little tiger trout from the pond. It's nice to keep the burner going just a little bit to keep it hot while you're eating it. Oh man, this is good. Mmm.
There we go. That's everything. That was delicious. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. This was one of the best days tiger trout fishing I've ever had in my life. I mean, I've had days where I've caught a lot more fish, but they were not that quality. So definitely one of my better days. They were hungry today. I don't know what else to say. I guess I got lucky, but yeah, fun day and ending it off with a delicious tiger trout meal. Couldn't have asked for a better day. But I'm heading out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.